Hi guys, I'm Sally with Owl Creek Jr. and I'm here today to unbox the July Zodiac Adventure Box. We haven't done an unboxing on YouTube in so long and I'm just very happy to be back to tell you all about what we included inside, all the artists that we got to work with, and why we chose the book of the month. So away we go. Before we get to the inside of the box, I just want to take a moment to admire our brand new box. This was redesigned by Risa Rodil and we debuted it in April of 2019, but I absolutely love how uh, she took the whole idea uh, behind the box and just made it super fun right from the get-go, from the minute it arrives on your doorstep. And then inside, it's every bit as bright and beautiful. The first item on top of every single box is our spoiler card. Uh, we have a, an amazing illustrator named Melanie Demmer who does these for us each and every month. So as you can see, we've got all of the animals on the Chinese Zodiac on the front, hanging out, having a good time. And then on the back is a rundown of everything that I'm about to show you from the box. So obviously you guys get to see the finished product here, but a lot goes into these sketches every single month. So here are some of the original sketches that Melanie came up with when I gave her the, the idea for this theme. So this was a very exciting month at Owl Crate HQ because both of our boxes included ceramic mugs in July. Um, we get so many requests to do these mugs and it was very excited to be able to deliver uh, with both our boxes. So um, for this one, instead of going with a fandom item, um, like the last mug we included, which was um, inspired by Narnia. This month instead, we worked with an artist named Bonnie Liu, and she put together a mug inspired by the traditional story of the Chinese Zodiac. So what you see here is uh, the animal parade of all of the 12 animals on the 12 year cycle. Um, and as somebody pointed out to me, I didn't even realize this, they're actually um, shown in the order of um, the, uh, the, the big race that determined who even got to be on the Zodiac, which I will talk a bit more about later. But I just love that little touch that Bonnie added in, and uh, it's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So when I was first in touch with Bonnie, um, basically I just said, what about a Zodiac parade? Wouldn't that kind of be neat? And then she came back with this sketch, which eventually turned into this full color illustration. The next item in the box is this handy dandy little double mirror featuring all of the 12 animals once again in this beautiful bright red that is so often used um, in Chinese New Year celebrations. We chose to include a mirror in this month's box as a reference to the book of the month. Um, there is a very special magical mirror that is one of the treasures of the heirs. We'll get more to that later. The next item in the box is a wall tapestry. This is um, the Celestial Planisphere, and the reason that we chose this for the Zodiac Adventure Box is because there is both the Chinese Zodiac with the 12 year cycle and all of the animals, and then there is also the Western um, Zodiac, which is what we base all of our um, horoscopes on, so the 12 month cycle. So personally, my birthday is in July, I'm a Cancer, Corey is a Leo, all of those, which happen to have um, constellations for them as well. So you can see them all featured there. What I love about this graphic is that it actually shows both the north and the south hemispheres and what the sky will look like at uh, different points of the year. Next up we included a package of animal patterned origami paper. We figured we had so many animals already in this box, we just were gonna keep rolling with it, and we wanted to include an awesome craft kit. As you can see, we've got a great jungle motif here with cheetahs and zebras and a bamboo pattern and a giraffe. I love the idea that you can like mix and match with these. You could do like a leopard spotted giraffe or a zebra striped rabbit. Um, this kit also comes with instructions on how to build a bunch of animals, and we also included one extra one in the magazine of the month. Next up, we have our monthly collectible pin, also illustrated by Melanie Demmer. Um, if you look along the edge of every single pin, it will tell you what box number this is, as well as the theme, and this was box number 30. We chose to highlight the pig on this one because it is currently the year of the pig. Speaking of pigs, next up, I got this adorable little piglet from Schleich. Now, I got the piglet, but we actually included um, six different figurines. There was a, a pig, a goat, a rabbit, um, a little puppy, um, a tiger, and a rooster. If you aren't already familiar with Schleich animals, um, they are a company out of Germany. They have existed for, I believe, over a century now, 
and they make just the most incredible animal figurines. Um, they range from this size, which is obviously quite little, up to like great big dragons and beautiful horses and all these other things. But they are just so meticulously designed, they are hand painted, um, and uh, I just think that they're, they look so great on a shelf, but you can absolutely play with them as well. They're really sturdy, they, they stand up to a lot of, you know, actually being used for imagination play. I just love them. Let me know which animal you got if you got this box. So we've just got one more item before we get to our book of the month, and that is this adorable sticker sheet uh, illustrated by Vanessa Port. Um, Vanessa does our sneak peek cards each and every month, and when I saw the sneak peek that she did for this box in our previous month's box, I thought, these animals are too cute to only be on this one postcard, so I got her to actually like add full bodies to them and uh, illustrate this sheet of stickers for you. Um, they are so cute they are really sturdy they've got a nice like waterproof finish to them so um they, they stand up to a lot if you want to put them on your favorite notebook and you know toss them in your bag and they're uh they're gonna stick around for a long time and finally we have our book of the month the 12 by cindy lynn this is the first of a brand new own voices series um i don't know how many are intended to be in the series but i could read this one for a long time it was so much fun it was so packed with adventure and um, I just really loved the whole world that she built. So without giving too much of the plot away, because I want you to be able to read it and enjoy it yourself and experience all of the twists and turns, uh, our main character, Usagi, uh, was born in the year of the wood rabbit. And because of that, she has the zodiac powers of a wood rabbit. So she can hear from miles away, she can bound great distances, and she's very connected to the earth. Um, however, any zodiac powers have been completely outlawed by the dragon lord and it's really unsafe to use them um but uh she and her sister and her uh, best friend are just kind of messing around one day and her sister and friend actually get taken away and captured by the dragon lord's um people so obviously she has to go out and find them and she happens to meet some other people along the way who will help her with that journey. It was such a great adventure. I love that it's inspired by the traditional story of the Chinese Zodiac um, and, uh, and all of the, the animals that uh, are just brought to life through that. Along with the book, we included some goodies, including a letter written just for our subscribers by Cindy Lin with uh, the book cover on the back. We have a signed book plate by Cindy Lin with the um, symbol for courage up there. And courtesy of HarperCollins Canada, we have this uh, paper craft, which is, um, you fold it up and it actually turns into a paper fan. So you can keep cool on a summer day. Uh, and it's got all the illustrations and all of the animals on there as well. Along with the book, we have our monthly magazine. This features an interview with Cindy Lynn, some great book recommendations if you love this series and can't wait until book two. Um, we've got some uh, Wing and Claw, Going Wild, and the Mighty Zodiac graphic novel. We've got the traditional story of the Chinese Zodiac that tells all about how all of those animals got on to the 12-month uh, the cycle and um, how they got their place on it. You've got a chart that shows what animal you are if you don't know your Zodiac animal based on your birth year. And then we've got the um, instructions down here to make a traditional origami rabbit. So this diagram is courtesy of Paper Kawaii, which is a fantastic origami website with all kinds of tutorials and videos and ideas for paper crafts. You should definitely check it out. We have also got our July photo challenge prompts in here. Um, our photo challenge runs from the 5th to the 12th of every month. So if you are watching it between those dates, um, definitely join in, show off your box and you could win a free box. Um, and then we've also got an announcement for our Owl Babble with Cindy Lynn that will be on August 13th at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Definitely join us for a fun little uh, conversation with Cindy. And finally, we have a announcement of our August theme, which is... Thieves in the Night. I am very, very excited about our Thieves in the Night uh, box that is coming out in just a couple of weeks now. So just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at uh, what the book will be, it says, what dangers would you dare to face to seek justice for your family? Our August book pick is a fast paced, heart pounding heist adventure set in 1930s New York City, all about love, 
uh, family and fierce loyalty. And it's perfect for fans of the York series by Laura Ruby, Rooftoppers by Catherine Rundell, and Wonderstruck. As of uploading this video, this box is still available and we will leave a code down below if you want to save a bit off of your first order. We have been getting a lot of very fun feedback on this entire box, but also on this postcard in particular and this adorable little cat burglar stealing this gigantic red ruby. Um, the illustrator for this is Vanessa Port, who I mentioned earlier. She also did the adorable Zodiac stickers for us. Uh, Vanessa is always great. She sends me a bunch of different concepts every month and I get to pick from them, which I like best. So here are just a few of the sketches that she sent to me when I told her the theme of the month. So that is everything that we included in our July 2019 Zodiac Adventure Box. As of uploading, we actually still have some of these boxes available as well in our shop. You can go to shop.owlcrate.com to pick one of those up. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more bookish videos every week. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye.